Salutations, my beautiful people of Indiegogo. It is I, Evan Mack, the creator and writer of the mockumentary musical comedic extravaganza known as K Pop. So I know what you're thinking. You're wondering, Evan, what in the world is K-pop about? And it's one of those things that I've been real tight-lipped about and weird and eccentric and playing everything close to the vest because I really think I have something really cool here and a concept that has been over a decade in the making of my love and my passion and my, and, and my admiration for Korean pop music and the culture coupled with my culture and it's a, it's a script that's taken me two years to flesh out and it's been going through its twists and turns and it's ups and down and just a struggle to get to get people to help and support and join the k-pop and team and in the story follows someone that's loosely based on myself played by the incredible and amazing and talented Rhett George who will be taking you on this k-pop journey as he tries to become the first african-american man to win a korean pop contest that is in Los Angeles, California. I've learned a lot on this filmmaking journey, um, writing this script and trying to compile all the, the cast and the characters and the soundtrack and try to get everything wrapped up and put in a nice little bow to present to you guys. And, and, I, and I realize how hard that is now by launching a campaign with without a spec, launching a campaign without that infrastructure on a different platform and failing miserably like falling flat on my face trying to launch K-pop and then feeling some type of way and getting and getting depressed and being like, does anybody want to watch this film? And what am I doing? Do I know what I'm doing? And having to reassess and come to a realization that I have to try harder and come at things from a different approach. And, and I've learned a lot since then. And, and I've re-upped and I've upgraded and I've created a spec and I and I and I can't wait to show it to you guys after I get done rambling. And and it's one of those things that it's a culmination of all my my blood, sweat, and tears. And I just need a little bit of a boost in and in, 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 in for our K-pop and team to grow. And that's where you guys come in. This comedic mockumentary film is not just inspired by me and my personal journeys and my personal experiences, but it, it's, I've also drawn inspiration from some of my favorite things. So, so when you see this beautiful thing and if we can all get this film created and shown and made, you will see me take things from my, my favorite Parks and Recreation or, or The Office or the Ricky Gervais, the original Office or what we do in the shadows or elements from or elements from like high school musical and you guys will see all these different like comedic inspirations like wrapped into this tightly knit Korean pop ball with all original music dope up and coming actors a bomb director Randy Van Dyke shout out to your boy and and just and people that are equally and passionate and awesome and willing to 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 bring this this insane journey to life. Now, every great story has a villain. And boy, do I have a villain for you people. I'm telling you right now, played by the incredible Song Park. He plays G Snow, who is the perfect Korean pop superstar. And his number one goal in life is to stop me, a la Rhett, from joining in this, this K-pop contest, winning this K-pop contest. He feels that Rhett doesn't belong. He feels that I don't belong in this industry, in this world. I know nothing about it. And he's gonna bring such a great element to this to this film and in in it literally the, the film can't even be done without his his brilliance and his improvisational skills and it's just going to be really really cool to for the world to see the best kept secret to me in los angeles which is the great song park and and guys i i have so many so so, so many surprises and so many twists and turns and things and, and and i actually have an ending to this this bad boy i have an ending as well and and guys i i just i can't emphasize enough how much it, it would mean to me just to 
to for you guys to be a part of this journey and to take this journey with me, however how far it goes. If it's just something that we just get to make all together and we get to to watch and just giggle and share a laugh, that that's all that I really need. And because I I need to do this before I do anything else is the one thing that I need to do to feel complete. And and K popping is that one thing. So um, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for for listening. Thank you so much for taking taking a second and just sit with me and just hear me blab blabber and blabber and run my mouth. And without further ado, here is the spec trailer for my baby, K-pop. K-pop, the first music video competition of its time yep. in Los Angeles, and you're going to enter it. Why? You know, it's interesting, man, the Korean people, the, the culture, you know, it's, it's always been one thing that I've kind of been drawn to it. And, and, and besides that, there's this disconnect between the black community and the Korean community when it comes to this. And, and, and there's a bridge that could be built there. And I, and I, and I, think, I'm, I think I am that bridge. Well, well, well. Why can't I like K-pop? I love K-pop! You're not even Korean. He's my friend and no one else would represent him. He has such this great passion for my culture. You can't expect someone to take a black man who can't speak Korean pursuing a career as a Korean pop star seriously. See, see the crazy thing is I'm gonna win this competition and I'm gonna show you and the crew who the best kept secret in K-Town is. That, that's the craziest know. part about this whole thing. You are a disgrace to the K-pop community, the Korean culture, and if I do say so myself, you don't represent your people either.